Hello everybody! Welcome back to the construction yard, as we like to call yet another video. strange thing is that you have no clue about this character, or at least in the game. In the film, you've already been, you know, shown off all the, um, all the other characters that Woody is with, and you kind of see why, you know, he feels like that is kind of his home, kind of, so to speak. Okay, so this is construction yard. It's basically just this bit. It's this bit. Here's one thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head straight off here. I'm gonna try and destroy these annoying enemies. They encourage you to try and use your first person view, but stuff that. Anyway, this is the race. So what you gotta do is you gotta find the five wrenches. I cannot remember where they are, although here's one. You'll be yelling at draw distance. You know this? They're all around here on this. Squishy plane. Oh, you have to have little tykes. They were never in the f in the film, but yet they took they spent the time and effort to license them. Good on you, Nintendo. You didn't have anything to do with this PlayStation game apparently, but I don't care. So anyway, you just get the five wrenches, and then you're running your way back. Great, going, bro. There totally was a lot of time for that. Anyway, let's keep on playing, because this is the game we're playing. Now, the annoying thing is that you can't actually climb the construction work just yet. Even if you can jump on it, just normally, you can't climb up it. That's pretty much the majority of the stage, climbing up. The construction thingy. Anyway, so yeah, you're collecting the little tights, and other than that, yeah. It's actually a very fun stage, if I say so myself. It just doesn't pick up well in the camera. Because <laughs> the ground is black. <laughs> oh, come on. Look at those wheels. All eight points of them. So anyway, everything's just kind of out here for the most part. Except hands up here. Why did I climb up here in the first place? Now the problem is it's a bit open. Oh, I heard this movie. Oh, hold I've on. Seen this movie. What? What movie? X Men the. New X-Men movie that was out. Oh, the new X-Men, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna head up here because this is where you can get another one of the, um... You can get the secret token up here. Secret! Inverted commas, because... Think about it, it's in this big shed. But it also has a puzzle! Holy snap, we can throw a puzzle in an action game. Would it be a platformer, kind of? You could think of it as a platformer, because it involves a lot of jumping. Rather than just being an action game, you know? Kind of... 
kind of bad how people just classify as action and adventure, even though there's a lot of different types of action adventure. You know? So anyway, these drawers... Like, jumping out, that's about it. And then you jump onto this platform and then you gotta... Do this puzzle. It's a repetitive pu puzzle because it doesn't involve any skill. What you gotta do is you gotta stand on the platform and then you'll f half fill a thing. So you just push it over to the other ones and you realize what color you get. If you go all the way over. And then it'll light up and then all the paint will dr run dry for some reason. And what you do is you go back and you do it again. Instead of asking you for specific colors, which would make it a good puzzle, they just ask you to do all of them. So basically, you just try out the three combinations. And that's about it. You know, a very difficult puzzle, eh? Alright, so I guess that's it for this. No! <laughs> okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta jump down and then we gotta look around underneath the building, because unfortunately, someone built this building on concrete blocks! Like, literally, just a couple of stacks of concrete blocks holds up this building. That's kind of unsafe, isn't it? Anyway, I'm just going to kind of wander around a bit. Dang it, we can't sing along to this one. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we, <laughs> we've got you... Mr. Potato Head, what part are you missing, Mr. Potato Head? As I turn around the camera. As I turn around the camera. Wait, why is he there? I can't tell. He's got no eye. He's got no eye? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta <even> tell! <laughs> so anyway, the item you get is the disc item. It's pointless, pretty much. What it does is it allows you to fire over long distances. But basically, all it does is it is it allows you to hit this one boss. I believe you can also get it in, a, in another stage. I believe stage seven, because all these items they're only they're like contact sensitive. You can only get them when they give it to you. That's kind of a weird term to use. Contact sensitive makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Um. Yeah, you can only use these items when they hand them over. So anyway, what we're doing is we're walking around. We're pretty much just doing the same thing over and over, just in different stages. Which I guess is what every game is. Unless it was like Grand Theft Auto. Which it introduces 50 mechanics and then it gives you the ending. So anyway, this is a lift, it lifts you up to the lift of where you are on the thingy, so you, so after every floor of the construction building, you uh, hit the switch and then the lift goes up to that floor, so in case if you fall off, which you will, although that will be our challenge, trying not to fall off. Operate machinery. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> now, apparently, the switch for the thing is on the um seat, and also the whole thing is operated by one button. So basically, you just get that one coin, 
And I guess we'll just go on to this. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta avoid mashy mashy spike plate. And now here's the annoying thing, you go on like where the heck do I go? Well you have to jump over here. Now I only recently found out that those aren't mushrooms, those are hot nails. <laughs> you know what would help? If it turned from red to black. So I knew that it was a nail. And not just a mushroom the entire time. I mean I don't think I would ask of too much. So anyway, you hit the switch and so that lift comes up. How do you get that coin? I don't care. I am not caring for once. Anyway, so... Yeah! There we go. So anyway, you gotta climb up this structure. There's a lot of gaps, isn't there? If someone actually does construction work, can you critique on how many gaps there are in the... in the beams? Don't worry, that's just light, not a... By the way, that was lens flare back in, back in these days. Not black in these days, that's racist. So anyway, since we're now back to this point again, we hit the switch. And then the lift will come up to this level. And thank you, Platform, for moving away. I also like how these mushroom hot nails are coming over here. Look at those. Look at that gravity. So, so flawless. You gotta time it well when you're having two moving platforms at once. As a developer, not a player. As a player, it's just kind of awkward. Anyway, and this is what also led my suspicion. Look, it's a pit full of mushrooms. It's mushroom stew. No, it's a pit full of hot nails. Uh, why is this web page opening? That is irrelevant. Anyway, we found his eye. What well, web page is it actually? <laughs> is it something the internet should know about? Yes! My fiction was that! Oh no! Whatever oh, shall we do? Idiot. You know, Bulbapedia was down yesterday. Okay. Yeah, so, hi everyone on the internet. Yeah, hi internet. So uh, yeah, Bulbapedia was down yesterday, which is a bit of a pain trying to upload the video, although I'm recording this entire thing in one go because it's good. I don't know. So by yesterday, it should mean a few days ago. Basically, whenever that part was late. Anyway, you may, I should probably have gone down. I have to go down and... Yeah. Because I don't think you can take out this guy without the... Yeah. He says, I hope you have the... Dis yep, there you go. There you go. They made it... They made it so he's invisible. What jerks. Thanks for kicking the door. What, what jerks. They, they make him invincible, and they also put one of these guys attempting to commit suicide. Also, one thing I like is that you can jump on top of that building, that's pretty cool. It's extra lives and a coin. Extra life and a coin. I believe you can only max the lives to nine. So anyway... So anyway, we'll pick up the discs, and the discs have very limited ammo, like very limited. It might be enough to defeat him, but you never know. So anyway, I'm gonna head back and say hi to Ham because then we can pretty much clear the stage. Ow! As soon as I look to see how much time I've spent. You know, I should probably get out my phone and start timing this again, shouldn't I? Oh gosh! 
I cannot jump. Where the girl goes? That's not what it sounds like, but okay. Yeah. Anyway, we'll keep on playing. Yeah, the annoying thing when you when you're doing the boss last and then you hit like leave level like right now. Cause I'm gonna get this one right now. Now, if you're wondering, yeah, how long is this game? It is 15 levels long, and considering we're up to number four and we've gotten everything, we're not gonna get anything in number five very much. I think I'm just gonna grab one token to be able to move on to the next stage and skip it. Because unfortunately, most of the I believe you can't get enough coins until you get the, the item. I believe they lock up the boss and I also believe you can't grab all the duck coins. I think that's what the stage thing is. So you can only really grab, um... I don't know, I think the secret token somewhere up there as well. Um... You can only grab, like, the race token in that stage, which is a real pain. And the race token's pretty annoying. Yeah, no time to lose! No time to lose! Quick! Jump! 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 I'm not gonna waste my ammo on you kids. Oh yeah. <laughs> well this guy's kinda scary. Just a bit. There he is. <laughs> he doesn't know how to cross. We're okay. Here he comes. I'm Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger, yeah. Universe Protection Unit. Oh, come on. <laughs> Run! Fire! 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 Ah, dang it. The only time you'll hear the boss music in its entirety, maybe. <laughs> Why do they give me so much health and not enough discs? They also give you a lot of ground to run around, don't they? Fire! 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 Ow. Kind of weird how, the, how he seems to drop a coin. I don't know why. Fire! Fire! <laughs> okay, so there's a token. I uh, will exit the level. Because that's it. And beyond! Anyway. Would you like to save your game? Yes, I would. So anyway, I'm gonna... In the next part, we may possibly even do stage 7. I know, a big jump, but... I feel like rushing ahead, because I really want to get stage 7 out of the way, because that's got... Because I'm not going to spend much time in this part on Alice and Gully. So anyway, I'll see you kids next time. Woo!